God, praise God. This is another Sunday, October the 7th. I hope you are as excited as I am about what the Lord is doing in this fourth quarter of the year 2018 as he prepares us to transition into a new season at the beginning of next year, 2019. It is a blessed time in the Lord. It is a good time to be in his kingdom, serving him, loving, being his instruments of love and of help and of healing. It's a good time to receive divine knowledge and understanding and wisdom. It's a good time to be taught the Lord God's ways. And as we find ourselves in the uh, month of October, as we have uh, heard from the Lord, this is a very spiritually intense month. And so as believers, as the body of Christ, uh, we have a responsibility this month to enforce the victory that we have in Christ Jesus by his finished works on his cross at Calvary. Jesus Christ said, it is finished. We have the victory in Christ Jesus, but that doesn't mean that the enemy is not going to try to take territory that we have as believers, but we are to enforce that which we have received from the Lord. And so I want to read a scripture for you, a very familiar passage of scripture, and then the Lord is going to just use me to speak a message of encouragement as I am sent to do every week. I, I speak a message of encouragement for you, I'm hoping that it will just inspire you and give you more hope to hold on uh, to that which you have received from the Lord, the promises of the Lord, the inheritance that we have as, as uh, saints, uh, the inheritance that we have as believers in Christ Jesus. I want to encourage you. I want to comfort you. I just want to speak life into your life. I want to speak light over your life. I just want to share the truth with you. Amen? And so here in 2 Corinthians, the second chapter, uh, I'm going to just pick up at the uh, 10th verse, and I'm going to read uh, verses 10 and 11 in 2 Corinthians, the second chapter. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave I it in the person of Christ. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Amen? We are not ignorant of his devices. Uh, that means that uh, Satan has strategies. Uh, he has devices. Uh, some translations say uh, we're not to be ignorant of the wiles of the devil. His strategies, um, his devices, uh, that which he uses uh, to try to steal, kill, and destroy that which we as believers have received from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, finished works on his cross at Calvary. For this reason was the Lord Jesus Christ made manifest that he would destroy the works of the devil. I paraphrase scripture. And so as we find ourselves, as I said, on October 7th, we are encouraged, uh, we are excited about the territory. The Lord God is enlarging the territory of those who have been obedient. He's enlarging our territory. He's increasing our spheres of influence. But that doesn't mean that the enemy is not going to try to attack. But I just want to encourage you, if you feel like you're being, you're being attacked, know that you have the victory, and there are strategies for you to enforce your victory. In spiritual warfare, there are two types of strategies. There are two types of warfare. You have the defensive warfare, and you have the offensive warfare. In the defensive warfare, uh, what you're doing is uh, you're trying to uh, keep uh, the enemy, your opponent, from stealing from you that which you already have. Uh, so you are never really entering into the enemy's territory, but what you're doing is you're trying to keep the opponent, the enemy, from stealing, from taking away that which already belongs to you, that which you already have. You don't necessarily advance into the enemy's territory. What you're doing is defending your territory. That's defensive spiritual warfare, just a summary of it. Of course, it's deeper than that, uh, but I only get a few minutes on these Sundays. Then you have offensive spiritual warfare, and that's uh, more militant. It's a more aggressive type of strategy. You go in to the enemy's territory. You don't wait to be attacked. You go into the enemy's territory, and you take territory that belongs to you from the enemy. You gain territory versus losing territory. So those are, that's a summary, a very brief and simplistic 
summary of the types of warfare that we may find ourselves in. However, we are encouraged that we already have the victory in Christ Jesus. So all we're doing is enforcing that which God uh, already has said belongs to us because we are his body in the earth realm. We are his children in the earth realm. So it already belongs to us, but we have to enforce it. And so learning some strategies to enforce the territory that belongs to you, as well as gaining the momentum that you need to receive even more territory mm -hmm, and to have your spheres of influence increase. There are territories. Uh, the Bible just says that we are not ignorant of his devices. That means that the enemy has strategies, uh, but God's strategies are higher than the strategies of the enemy. And the Lord God gives us his word. He gives us all the strategies that we need so that we are enforcing the victory that we have in Christ Jesus. And so since the month of July, of course, I've been here, these, this YouTube channel has been here for years, but since the uh, month of July, the seventh month of 2018, July, the Lord has been using me to send you encouraging messages to build your offensive faith by the blood of Jesus. We have this victory. So these messages of faith uh, that the Lord has been using me to share with you are to build the offensive strategies that you need in this season because this is the most prosperous season for us, October, November, and December, on the Gregorian calendar as it relates to our spirits, our souls, our bodies, our finances, our relationships. If you grab hold of the spiritual principles of God that are for us, that are in his word, then we transition into this new cycle, this new season, uh, new beginnings, and we don't bring with us that which is going to hinder us from gaining the new territory, the, the increased spheres of influence. And one of the strategies that the enemy uses is unforgiveness. He doesn't want you, he doesn't want the believer to walk in love. He doesn't want us to walk in faith. So he will use unforgiveness. This is a season, this is a time for you to shake off anything that's hindering you from walking in this new beginning. And this is a time for you to forgive whomever, whoever needs to be forgiven, even if it means forgiving yourself. This is not a time to hold on to unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a strategy of the enemy to keep you from gaining new territory and to steal the territory that you already have. Remember, Jesus said in John chapter 10 that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said in John 10, 10, but I have come that you would have life and have it more abundantly. And so what the Lord has been doing is he has been giving us strategies to enforce the victory and the promises that we have in Christ Jesus by his ways, which are perfect ways, his strategies, for life which are found in his word. He says in his word, he's given, he has given us everything that we need. He's given us everything that we need for this life, everything that we need spiritually for this life, everything that we need, the Lord God has already given us. So we must then, as we have been sharing over these weeks, be sure to have on the whole armor. Please, if you haven't watched these videos since July, watch these videos beginning at, at the first uh, Sunday in July. He's uh, given us strategies. We we have to have on his whole armor. We have to be obedient. We must walk in love, see love, smell love, taste love, feel love, hear love. We must be praying. We must be praying. We must be praising. We must be hearing the word so that our faith is built. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you need both a good defense and a good offense. And in this month of October, you're going to need an exceptionally good offense to keep the enemy from taking your peace, from taking your joy, from stealing your blessings, your prosperity, the prosperity that you have in Christ Jesus. The Lord wants you to walk in your wealthy place. The Lord wants you to walk in your wealthy place because he blesses us to be a blessing. He wants you to have new territory. He wants you to have increased spheres of influence. But you must do the Lord God's good and perfect divine sovereign will. Forgive, be in love, receive the peace that Jesus Christ said that he gave to us, 
And this is a month that the enemy is launching his major membership drive for his kingdom. We must evangelize all the more. This is a month to evangelize. This is a month to pray even more for your unsaved loved ones, your unsaved co-workers and your unsaved neighbors. This is a month that we are to pray that more and more would be coming into the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a rich month. It's a prosperous month, a prosperous month on every level, spirit, soul, body, finances, relationships, and you need a prophetic covering. You need a prophetic covering that is keeping you lifted in prayer, somebody who knows about spiritual warfare, somebody who knows about the strategies of the enemy as the word of the Lord uh, shares with us that we are not to be ignorant of the wiles, of the strategies, of the devices of the enemy, of the devil. You need to be covered prophetically by someone who understands spiritual warfare, who understands the spirit realm. You must understand that the prophetic mantle, it attracts and it releases wealth, spiritual, financial, for your soul, for your body, for relationships. This is a time to understand what time it is on the spiritual clock, remembering that God is outside of time, but remember the sons of Issachar. They understood the times and the seasons. You need to be covered by, a, by, by, a, by that prophetic a mantle that understands the times and the seasons and then un understands how to give you strategies so that you enforce the victory that you have in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen, amen. Be encouraged. This is a rich time. I know it looks dark. It's dark for the world. But the darker it is for the world, the more the light of the Lord Jesus Christ has an opportunity to shine even brighter. We are the light of the world, and my time is up. My time is up. My time is up. Be encouraged. We love you. Thank you, new subscribers. Thank you for these comments that we're receiving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I look forward to even more messages coming into me and through me to share with you, to encourage you, comfort you, lift you up, and we are praying for you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen, amen, amen.